beautiful fucking morning right now. It is 4.32 and um, let's get the day starting so we're ready to attack it. Yeah. Yo guys. So, some meditation right now. Just do a meditation, a morning meditation. Now we're gonna do some quick visualization as well. Visualization is very important. If you wanna visualize, if you if you are going to visualize yourself being successful, being in the successful state, it will help you massively. Because you will get this insane focus throughout the day that all that matters is getting that success, reaching that success, and reaching that thing, that goal that you are visualizing, right? So you will have more dedication, more willpower, because this goal is constantly in your mind. And you will also have a positive self-image of yourself because you're you can if you visualize yourself achieving success in that goal every day, you will start to believe in it. You will start to believe that you are able to reach that success. If you visualize that so strongly. So that's why I visualize. I done visualizing the last step of this morning routine is to journal. As you see yesterday I did some journaling as well. Today I'm gonna do that again. So it is 5.18 so we're quickly going to the gym where we'll meet my friend and we're gonna hit a chest workout today. So I'll see you in there. So I don't know if you have ever trained in the dark, Go went to the gym in the dark it's really beautiful man, like there's literally no one around you can just do whatever you want and it feels cool too because it feels like I mean, you are, but it feels like you're awake before everyone else, right? it feels like you're like on the grind, you know? and in a way that's what I am, so that's exactly why I'm doing it now, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this bad time of 4.30 because just because it's, I mean, it's too early, man. Like, for example, a few days ago, I went out to dinner for dinner with my family, and I just noticed that I was fucking. Every time I do something in the evening, basically in my bedtime, it's just too late because now if I wake up at 4:30, I need to go to bed at like seven or eight, something in between there, right? So that's very hard to get if you're <laughs> out for dinner with your family or anything, right? Look what we have here. We have another content creator. <laughs> this guy. It's uh I don't know what time it is, man. It's four, five thirty-nine. And I'm right on time. Alright, alright, alright. So it's getting light right now. Everyone is coming alive. Seven o'clock right now. So I just recorded the video. I'm at the office right now. Quick post workout meal, some raw milk and half a banana. I mean, the other half I already have in my fucking stomach. I don't really have a fucking good meal here, so I might go home later in the afternoon. 
It's 722 right now. But yeah man, let's get to work first. Let's do some work. Some deep work. But not without some fucking coffee, man. I love coffee. So I just finished editing some videos, uploading them, and now it's time to go home. One thing that I, that I have been realizing lately is that, I mean, I should be more authentic, I should be more myself. And I realized when I look back at certain videos, I was really talking to the camera like it was a fucking sales pitch. You know what I mean? And I don't think this is the way to go about it. Because I don't want to sell you anything. Rather, I want to help you, right? And so, I shouldn't act like I want to sell something when I'm not really trying to sell something, really. I'm rather trying to help you. I'm trying to make the world a better place, right? So, that's one thing I'm going to focus on more. And that's also one of the reasons why I started this Day in the Life series, I guess. Yes, because to show you more of me, right? To show you more realistic thing. Because, I mean, I fuck up sometimes too. I don't always work as hard as I want to. So these things are natural, right? Because, but, but I want to improve for sure. And I am going to improve, that's for sure as well. So I got my sourdough bread with some raw cheese from the local farmer. Some raw milk from another local farmer and this bread is pretty local as well to be honest but that's another meal like i said before i am training for a marathon i personally think that learning things cannot only be done in books in the end it's really all practical learning right yesterday i constantly was in a battle with myself with these seven kilometers that i wanted to quit and that my body wasn't strong enough yet to run to run these kilometers but in the end of course your body can make it like your body can do a lot you know there's people that fucking carry the cars so it's not about that it's more the mindset and every time you come into into a sort of battle with your own mind and you win it you become stronger mentally and you learn more about your mind and in the end that's I think the start of something beautiful, right? Because why should you learn something that is in the outside world when you when you haven't even learned what's internal, what's in your mind, what's in here? So that's one of the reasons why I'm running a marathon. So as I have to do some cardio today, some type of biking, keeping my muscles active for recovery, keeping the blood flowing, making sure the muscles don't get fucking strength. I need to bike, but normally I do it in a gym. But this time I would do it with, the, with my actual bike. Why not, right? I have an actual fucking race bike. It's a, it's a, I mean, it's an old fucking bike. Like, it's not the fucking newest, but I think it's pretty cool. Like, old vintage race bike. So I'm gonna bike a bit with that. On the bike right now. I'm doing this with my phone. Yeah. For guys, if you don't know, I am Dutch. I'm from the Netherlands, so. It's not natural, right, for us to ride a bike. I mean, it's kind of beautiful weather. It's so Dutch weather as well. But, I mean, it's really turning winter right now, so it's... Days are getting colder, days are getting shorter, a bit more wet. But I like it, man. Change of season is always interesting. Always, man. You gotta be grateful for what you have, right? Some fucking reindeers. What? The castle. Now, what I'm doing here is just elevating my legs real quick, just for about 10 to 15 minutes for the blood flow. That it has a little bit of relief. Now, I know this looks fucking weird, right? But trust me, it helps. So, there's some organic grass fed beef and some fucking bell pepper some pumpkin that was unripe but it fell actually off the fucking plant because it was a storm you see part of the plant actually died as well but pumpkins fell off and 
well they didn't fall off properly they like kind of broke off so now I have to eat them semi ripe so to say but there's still one on and they're coming some new ones on luckily I think there's another one as well so it's 725 and I'm just gonna read a little bit and then I'm gonna go to bed so I'm saying already good night to you guys I'm gonna wake up at 4.30 again tomorrow, so that's that. By the way, it's looking so fucking green outside. I mean, this is probably the greenest I've ever seen. In the winter, it's gonna be fucking empty. Wow.